Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Mentor. In the series of videos covering all details for each and every branch, particularly the clinical ones. Uh, in this video, we will discuss everything about dermatology branch. What we will discuss? Let me tell you quickly. Uh, government college cutoff rank for last year, state wise, both for all in, through all India quota and through state quota, and we will see like how much difference it is and the stipend and bond for each state. We will uh, get to know about the DNB cutoff. Okay, few hospitals only which provide DNB dermatology subject or course, but we will know like what is the cutoff and uh, stipend and how many hospitals in particular state. Then we'll come to know about the open state counseling or the closed state. What is the cutoff for dermatology branch and how much is the fee and the stipend in particular state? So we will get to know the information across India at the pan level for government, DNB, private, and uh, deemed university cutoff also for all the deemed university colleges and uh, is cut off yearly fee and the stipend. Okay, we will uh, also see like uh, what is the cutoff versus sorry marks versus rank for last year, and accordingly depending on your expected score or your score you can check like how much score, you, how much rank you can expect and accordingly uh, depending on the comparison with the exp last year cutoff you will get to know like where you have the chance to get the seat in which state and through which type of counseling in case your rank is not uh, coming uh, on the um, better side then uh, in different rank range like uh, starting from 45 to 70,000 and 70 to 70,000 to 1 lakh uh, in which states you can apply and what would be the expected budget or such things top 30 uh, there are not 30 hospitals for dnb dermatology but all the hospitals okay almost 16 okay so we will see like uh, what is the order and uh, top 30 government hospitals for dermatology okay so these all things we'll see in a single video in case uh, you have not uh, subscribed to our channel please do subscribe because we have created the video for general medicine and radio diagnosis branch this so this is the third video of uh, this series and uh, before the examination gets over we will try to put all the details for different branches okay let's uh, talk about the few important things okay like you can join our telegram group and you can also purchase ebooks from our website neatmentor.co.in and once you see the description of this video you will get to know about many things like how to join the telegram group whatsapp group and how to avail the paid counseling guidance okay under the paid counseling guidance many things are available which you can see uh, from our website neatmentor.co.in okay let's talk about uh, state wise cutoff for government college so there are two ways to get admission into the government college one through all india counseling for 50 percent seats that is through mcc counseling another way to uh, enroll with your state counseling based on your eligibility okay so uh, eligibility criteria also i have uh, uh, given in a separate video you can watch that and you can find it in our channel okay so what is the eligibility criteria is, is better uh, is based on the mbbs completed from that state or having domicile criteria or both okay so the most demanding government colleges are from delhi last year it got closed up to rank up 347 through all india quota counseling okay in andhra pradesh the cutoff was 4009 and uh, through state counseling it was 3719 so if you come from particular state and you want to get the seat in that state itself okay you have to see like uh, which way you are getting more benefit through all india quota counseling or through state counseling okay but you need to apply for both uh, because in all india counseling all the colleges coming from all the states and their 50 percent seats will be coming into the picture so you have like a better chance to get the seat through all india quota counseling but in case you come from the state where the merit is low 
okay in which states the marital these are all the cut off okay you can take a screenshot i'm not going to read out everything because it's not useful to read out okay you can see the stipend and bond in that state so we'll talk about uh, how you can analyze that one state is high merit other state is low merit okay so where the merit is high st through state counseling you will have less chance to get the seat or the cutoff will be on higher side so which are the states where the merit is high delhi okay high merit state andhra pradesh is a low merit state assam is low merit state that's why the cutoff goes uh, went up to 12000 bihar is also low merit state okay chandigarh is high merit state chhattisgarh is low merit state but in chhattisgarh uh, dermatology seat was not available okay for general category and these all cut off i have given for general category it's difficult to cover for all the categories the video will be very very lengthy okay gujarat is also high merit state haryana high merit state himachal pradesh is low merit state jammu kashmir is also kind of mediocre not high or not low jharkhand there is no dermatology seat available there karnataka is also low merit kerala is high merit state Madhya Pradesh is low merit state, Maharashtra is also low merit. When I say low merit means you have better chance to get the seat through state quota counselling. Okay. And Odisha is also low merit, Pondicherry low merit state, Punjab is kind of like high merit only, Rajasthan is also high merit state, Tamil Nadu because so much of reservation given there for in-service candidates, so merit goes high. In Telangana is also kind of low merit, Tripura no dermatology seat. Uttar Pradesh is also kind of like low merit state, you get be benefit compared to all India quota counselling. Uttarakhand, no dermatology seat, West Bengal is also low merit state. So in the state counselling, there is a reservation for in-service candidates, okay. But at all India level counselling, there is no reservation for in-service candidates because at the national level, there is no in-service criteria because all the candidates from different states are participating okay but the state at the state level if you are working as a permanent medical officer then you will get in-service uh, benefit in some of the state there is a reservation uh, for in-service candidates in other states they get incentive of 10 percent to 30 percent depending on their experience number of years of experience okay and that marks will be uh, added on on the total marks and accordingly the state merit list will be created and their rank will be decided okay now coming to dnb dermatology number of seats for dnb dermatology is very low and there are just 16 16 institutes across india or 16 16 hospitals where dnb dermatology course is available okay that's why you see in the cutoff column not applicable or not available most of the for most of the states in andhra pradesh and this cutoff five given for general category in delhi there is one hospital where the seat is available but not for last year it was not available for general category only for reserved okay so the number of seat vacancy is very low for dnv dermatology and the cutoff went for all India, uh, sorry, uh, uh, general category is 7,577 in Andhra Pradesh. And few states only have the uh, hospitals for DNB dermatology, Delhi, Andhra Pradesh, and uh, Bihar, Chandigarh, Gujarat, Jammu Kashmir, Kerala, Maharashtra, Telangana, Uttarakhand, and West Bengal. Only these states have uh, hospitals for DNB dermatology. In case you don't get seat through All India Quota Counseling or through your state counseling or through DNB, then what is the option left for you? In case you are very rigid or uh, to get dermatology branch because it's career deciding um, opportunity. Okay, the you choose one branch later you can't change, and the branch each and every branch will have its pros and cons. Okay. Your lifestyle will depend on the branch you have selected. So you should be very wise in selecting the branches. Don't just select the top colleges. Okay. Uh, read about the how the branch works. Okay. 
get the reviews and how you have to adjust your life accordingly some branches will be very hectic some branches will have like you no know, less patient interaction some branches will have a high uh, revenue money and less comfort zone okay so you have to decide accordingly okay i suggest you to take like uh, even mediocre college if you are getting your dr branch because later you can learn and you can become a better doctor for private colleges there are two ways or i would say three ways one is through deemed universities okay where the budget will be on higher side other way is to go for open state counseling in open state counseling you can't go for government college but you can go for open seats in the private colleges third way is to go for your own state domicile counseling okay so these are the states and where there is no data available it means it doesn't have the private college like delhi assam chandigarh jharkhand manipur these do not have private colleges in that state okay but wherever there is private college and that the state allows candidates from other state to participate in the counseling for the private colleges you can see the cut off yearly fee and the fee is also not fixed in a college in a state like uh, you take bihar for example mata gujri devi narayana medical college katihar medical college then lord buddha these all colleges have different fee structure on the other side in some states like karnataka the fee structure is same 12.5 lakhs per year okay so you won't be able to judge based on this data it, it will give you high level idea okay accordingly you can decide like where you can expect the seat based on cut off and what may be the fee structure and a stipend you will be getting uh, in the bihar state last year the seat was available up to 77983 rank okay and the tuition fee for that college was 35 lakhs but the stipend you are getting there ranging between 70 to 90000 okay so in case you don't have good score then you can go for such options okay in gujarat is a closed states okay last seat was available in the management quota up to rank of 20197 and the fee of 35 lakhs per year but the stipend is 80 starting from 84 lakhs and this year or from next year it can go up to 1 lakh in haryana the seat went up to 24097 971 in the tuition fee of 14 lakhs per year the stipend is 40 to 70 in sgd the stipend is 70000 per month in karnataka for the 12.6 lakhs per year fee colleges or the seats the cut off was 11569 in kerala the cut off was higher because it's high merit state those college, those states which i mentioned high merit state for the government colleges they will be high merit state for private colleges as well because those who fail to get the seat in government college they go for the low budget colleges in that state that's why there is uh, increased competition in the among the private colleges as well in madhya pradesh it went up to 33109 and the tuition fee maximum there is 20 lakhs per year stipend is also good maharashtra is a closed state and uh, i have kept up to 13.7 lakhs uh, the maximum tuition fee except vedanta and the cut off was 1300 264 in rajasthan up to just qualifying a score you can expect the seat because the tuition fee is very high ranging between 65 to 95 lakhs per year in orissa because it's closed state the cut off went up to 36420 pondicherry the cut off was 44651 the tuition fee is 22.7 lakhs some hidden fee will also be charged in punjab adesh medical college cut off went up to 19479 and the tuition fee is 15 lakhs per year in rajasthan there are colleges where the tuition fee is around 32 to 40 lakhs there it went up to 42574 in tamil nadu uh, dermatology seat in the general category was not available in all the colleges phd kambitur 
it was available and the cut off you can see 4836 4, so phg is very good college in telangana the tuition fee for last year was 24 lakhs and the cut off went up to 28192 in uttar pradesh there are two type of colleges one is minority so in the non minority seats where the tuition fee is 21.6 lakhs maximum okay it went up to 43,460 and in the minority college, minority colleges where the tuition fee is up to 40 lakhs per year it went up to 48,316 and in Uttarakhand no seat available for dermatology for general category candidates in West Bengal it went up to 38,115 Jagannath Gupta Medical College this is the cutoff for deemed university for the last year so i'm not going to read out anything but i'll give you some indication like uh, colleges in karnataka maharashtra are like uh, very good some colleges in chennai like sri ramachandra then savita medical college these are also good colleges but uh, you should not go for um, Colleges like Sri Sai, Balaji, Vinayaka Mission, Adu Kadai Viru. These colleges will be available up to like uh, further rank. Okay. But uh, the college education wise and the patient flow wise won't be that good. At the same time, you have to pay huge tuition amount also. But if you are des desperate to get dermatology also only and uh, somehow you want degree. Okay. You can approach those colleges where you can easily get the seat. And everything is happening through counseling process only. There is nothing out of the box now because the seed doesn't go into the hand of the college management so everything that happens is through the counseling process where government body in the state is responsible or at the national level mcc counseling body is responsible this is a marks versus rank mapping for the last year so in case uh, you are getting a particular score you can predict how much may be the rank okay i have given it up to 275 for the last year and this is the real data now where the score is less so the rank is poor if your rank is between 45000 to 70000 so what approach you can take so the purpose of this video is to give you overall overall idea how to get dermatology seat and approach no matter what is your score or rank for all the score rank it will be applicable so this video will give you definitely some good idea in case you are going to get going to target particular branch so how to approach depending on your score rank okay no matter what is your rank so 45,000 to 70,000 what are the options you should you can go for definitely deemed universities then Himachal Pradesh there is just one college MME Solon you can go over for Bihar State Counseling. We saw that 77,000 was the cutoff. In Rajasthan, for the low budget private colleges, low budget seat or high budget seat, you can go for Rajasthan State Counseling. You can go for NRI seats. Okay. For NRI seats, all the states are open and they allow candidates from other states also to participate in the counseling, like Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Karnataka. West Bengal, AP Telangana, you can go for NRI seat in the deemed universities and uh, others quota seat in Karnataka, uh, management quota seat in or institutional quota seat in Maharashtra, then uh, in case you come under minority quota like Muslim minorities, Jain minority, then you can go for uh, minority seat particularly in Uttar Pradesh, Bihar or other states if your rank is beyond 70,000 still you are going for dermatology seat because that's your dream branch but you are ready to uh, spend more your budget is on higher side and you can uh, afford to go for the colleges where the tuition fee is high so you can go for NRI seats particularly Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Karnataka, West Bengal, AP Telangana, deemed university NRI seats then Maharashtra management quota Maharashtra NRI quota and your budget will be between 2 CR to 2.5 CR. I am not saying that you have to pay any kind of additional amount but the tuition fee itself is that high. When you calculate your total package it will be coming up to that because the tuition fee is uh, take a look at the tuition fee in Karnataka 
it is uh, 75 lakhs plus in uh, Rajasthan also it's 75 lakhs 90 lakhs like that okay so actual tuition fee is going up to that that's why your package is that much now this is the list of uh, all uh, DNB hospitals okay for DNB dermatology RN Cooper government medical college and super specifically hospital uh, Chandigarh JLN main hospital Chandigarh Kerala Institute of Medical Science Trivandrapuram Sanjay Gandhi Memorial Hospital Delhi Gmers Gujarat Gandhi Nagar Dr Baha Baba Sahib Ambedkar Medical Hospital Delhi Indira Gandhi IGMS Pondicherry College of Medicine and JNM Hospital Nadia West Bengal Rajiv Gandhi Medical College and Hospital Chhatrapati Shivaji Seth GS okay and M.A. Bora Municipal General Hospital, South Central Railway Hospital in Sikandrawad, Andhra Pradesh, Sai Sudha Hospital, Kaki Nada, Andhra Pradesh, JLNM Hospital, Srinagar, Jammu Kashmir, VCSG Government Medical, Government Institute of Medical Science and Research, Pori Garhwal, Medical Trust Hospital, Kochi, and this is the list of top 30 government medical colleges. Okay. So it will help you in the choice filling, but there are many more institutes which you have to fill for that you can approach our paid counseling guidance. Some and bond is also given, the stipend is also given roughly. MAMC, Vardhavan Saptajang Hospital, Government Medical College, Kojikot, Kalikat, Seth GS, PGIMR, RML Hospital, Delhi, Bangalore Medical College, Government Medical College, Chandigarh, UCMS, Lady Harding, Madurai Medical College, Grant Medical College, Mumbai, Mysore, Lokman, Tilak Medical College, and Hospital, Sain, Sain Hospital, Institute of I, IMS, Bhubanish, sorry, Varanasi, BHU, SMS, and all such institutes. So, hope I have uh, given you so much information, uh, starting from Government College, DNB, uh, Private College, Deemed University, Open Quota, then uh, approach for high rankers okay top hospital top institutes all such things okay so that's all from my side in this video if you have any comment or question or you want us to make the next video on particular branch then you can comment in the comment section of the video thanks for watching